Oh my god, time for a new video of Hooba Hooba Hubba Hubba Hubba! I am Nightmare RH for all who don't know, and this is another video of knowledge and wisdom and shit you motherfuckers need to know. Firstly, you all need a pen and paper. Actually, no, no, you, do, you, do, you guys don't need that shit. Let's begin now. Today, we will be talking about single item merchanting versus clan merchanting and how clan merchanting operates and shit like that. Mainly because a lot of you guys have been asking, have I ever been in a merchanting clan before? And the answer is no, and you will find out the reason why later on in this video. The form of merchanting that I use is the form that has been around on RuneScape since RuneScape first began, and that is single item flip-flop merchanting. That is where you buy an item right near lowest and then you try to sell it right under med or a little above med and vice versa you buy a little below med and then you try to sell near highest you do not wait until the item rises in price because if you do that that is not single item flip-flop merchanting that is called investing of the bungholes the reason why i do not do investing is because i do not have a very very large cash stack to buy like 10 or 20 of one item and then wait over time of a week or so to of uh, you know for that item to rise in price me personally i'm happy with making three to four mil a night a lot of you guys ask me all the time what is a good item to invest in the reason why i don't tell people what to invest their money in is well i got a little story for you guys i used to have a friend who once asked me what is a good item to invest some money in? And I said, you know what? This item is decreasing, but it most likely will increase. So my friend said, okay, and he ended up buying 10 of this item, uh, Saradoman Godsword. But instead of the item rising, it actually crashed by uh, 10 mil. Yeah, after that, my friend no longer talked to me. So therefore, that's one of the reasons why I don't tell people what to invest their moolah in. Now let's talk about clan merchanting and how merchanting clans operate. But before we talk about how they operate, we must first find a test subject. Anybody out there? Anyone? Ah, Jimmy! You will be our test subject for this video. Now, you see, guys, Jimmy has a 100 mil cash stack. And Jimmy wants to increase and nearly double what he has right now. So, he went to the GE and he saw a whole bunch of people advertising saying, Join this clan. It will double your profits. And I mean, seriously, the people advertising shit like that, they're kind of like politicians. They never tell lies. Now Jimmy has found himself a clan, so let's all give Jimmy a clap. Clap, 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 clap. Okay, pervs, I mean a clap with our hands, not fucking gonorrhea. Now let's talk about scamming cl I mean merchant clans on how they operate as a clan. Firstly, and most importantly, you have the top banana of the clan. Now the top banana of the clan the most important thing all you motherfuckers have to remember is the top banana makes the most money out of all the other people in the merchanting clan. Secondly, you have the mini bananas. The mini bananas are friends of the top banana. Now, the mini bananas are the second group of people that will make the most money within the clan. Next in line, you have the wee womps. Now, the wee womps are friends of the mini bananas. The wee womps, they make a little less than the mini bananas, but they can still profit because they're friends with the mini bananas. And lastly, you have the juice of the merchant clan. The juice is the main part of the clan. The juice is where Jimmy is right now. Now the merchant clan is currently buying out an item. Now the top banana has seen that the item has rose enough that the top banana feels that it's time for the top banana to sell all of its items that the top banana has bought. So then the top banana then sells all of the items that the top banana has bought. Now once all of the top banana's items have sold, then the top banana tells the mini bananas to sell all of their shit. Then the following day, the mini bananas along the top banana tells the wee womps and so forth down to the juice. The only problem is that some of the juice 
maybe inactive for a day or two, or maybe couldn't get on the computer because the juice was on vacation, or for whatever goddamn reason, the juice could not get on. Then a the couple days later, the juice comes on, aka Jimmy, and he sees that his items are now worth shit. And instead of his items being more than 100 mil, he actually is losing 20 mil. Now Jimmy having rage and frustration, Jimmy wants to go and run into oncoming traffic. So he runs outside of his house and runs into oncoming traffic, praying that there will be something out there to hit him. But guess what? It's 3 fucking a.m. So Jimmy goes back inside the house and runs around, knocking walls over, running into shit, breaking stuff, destroying lamps, throwing shit around the fucking house, lighting his fucking fingernails on fire, taking shits in the fucking bathroom! Oh my god! So in conclusion to Merchant Clans, the juice, a.k.a. Jimmy, was used for his holiness of 100 mil. And now he has less than 100 mil. And now he is running around the house screaming, my balls hurt, because, he, well, you know, he just did some naughty thing. But you know what? To be honest, you guys can disagree. You guys can agree with me. But from what I've seen and from what I heard, I'm right. Is that it's better off where you're basically your own boss. You just single item flip flop. And it's only been working for me since I began playing RuneScape. But seriously, yeah, I mean, seriously, guys, come on. What do I know? <laughs> only two-thirds of my bank I came from single-item merchanting. What the fuck do I know? Seriously, come on now. But guys, like I said in the past, I've had friends who joined merchant clans when I told them not to. And you know, it's kind of like if you have a son or a daughter. Okay, well, I don't, I don't have a son or a daughter or any kids. But for example... My mommy told me when I was 12 years old not to see the movie American Pie. Well, guess what? I saw the movie American Pie, and I got a whole new vocabulary. <laughs> Dick fart. <laughs> queef. <laughs> Smelly queef. But then my friend ended up losing about one-third of his cash stack. Kind of like how my mother tried putting a bar of soap in my mouth after I learned a new vocabulary words. But then I told her if she ever did it again, I would most likely drive her fucking car into the goddamn living room. But in conclusion to this video, the only suggestion that I have to you guys, if you are a part of a merchant clan, is as soon as you see you are making a measly profit, sell all your shit before the top banana. Because you don't want the top banana to make all the moolah. Kind of like Mr. Krabs, damn it. But to be honest, guys, I prefer single item merchanting. Mainly because it has never failed me before. And like I said, I've made over two thirds of my bank by doing single item merchanting, flip flopping an item. But otherwise, you guys can leave some nasty, dear little comments about clan merchanting or flip flopping in general of items, or whichever one you prefer to use or are currently using. But thanks for subscribing for future videos if you haven't already done so. Oh yes, and another reason why I don't use clan merchanting to make money is, well, to be honest, for the reason that I'm a fucking orange fan.